Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Dylan, the Pro Barlet, and welcome back to a brand new episode of our Pokemon Light Platinum playthrough. This is episode 6, I believe. This is episode 6. Um, last time we were trying to defeat all those trainers, I said I would do that off screen, and it turned out there was only two trainers I had to fight. The rest just either said some kind of dialogue or they gave you an item. So let's take a let's take a quick look at our Pokemon. We are kind of beaten up. Miltank's useless. Anyway, uh, let's, excuse me. Neither that's neither here or there. But let's look at Big Papa. We got Big Papa Pichu. He's level 23. He sold Lucky Egg. That was an item that we got from talking to one of those trainers, and it gives you basically if it's held, it gives you more XP um, when you fight. So. Uh, still rocking the same movesets. Everybody's still rocking the same movesets. Level 21, 21, 21, 24, and we got 10. Uh, I didn't give anybody any other different, I didn't give them any different items or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so we just got to Esmeralda City. I don't know what's up ahead. <coughs> but up here something is going on. Uh, I believe that's Team Steam. At least I can get to the Pokemon Center. Team Steam has done a great job taking control of the city. Sheila just told me that she found the blue orb and red orb in Esmeralda's botanical laboratory. Let's go there now. We can have this place to burn. Great news. Let's go now. It's time for the real leaders of Team Steam to get their hands dirty. Well, that's very interesting because the blue orb and the red orb are what is used to wait Kyogre and Groudon, so it's interesting to, to see this uh, in this ROM hack. So, I guess it's not too interesting, but it is interesting enough. Oh, we've got some, we got our heroes up ahead. Ash! Hello, Probarla! I'm glad you're here! This city is being attacked by a ton of Team Steam members, and there are too many for Red and I. To handle alone, we could use your help. The gym leader and professor of the city is trapped in her botanical lab. Red and I will take care of the team's team members outside if you'll deal with the ones in the botanical lab. Red, that's a good plan. Lots of team's team is out here, but I'll tangle with them all. Pro Barley, the only people that can enter the botanical lab are team's team personnel. I'll give you a team's team uniform so that way you can get in there without any problems. Great, Pro Barlet. Now just now you just have to use this steam steam uniform to get to the botanical lab. Good luck. Red and I will finish off Team Steam members that are still outside. But first, I'll stop this fire. Go, Gyarados! Gyarados, use Ray Dance. That's actually pretty epic. Now I'll stop the fire that was threatening Esmo City. Oh, I think I read that wrong. Anyway, um, great, Red. Let's battle the Team Steam members now. Good luck, Pro Bartlett. I love how he still had, like, they actually put Pikachu in there. Like, you know, it's following Ash and whatnot. But, uh, let's go heal up our Pokemons, our Pokemans. Uh, a lot of them are poisoned. So. Um, I should deposit the Miltank now. But, I'm going to not deposit it. What does she have to say? The Bulbasaur is badly burned. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't deposit it now because I can use it as a scapegoat. I know that's wrong. You shouldn't use your Pokemon as a scapegoat. But, you know, what can I say? I'm, a, I'm cruel. So let's, um, let's see if we can put on this suit now. Look at me, I'm a Team Steam member. And I, and I run really fast. I can know what? That's pretty cool. Sorta. Of. Team Steam personnel can enter to protect Maria and Terra, the great Team Steam leaders behind these attackers. On, I don't know. My reading is very bad today. Oh, we already have to fight members, okay. Team Steam is here to take control of everything. So you're telling me that you guys 
thought I was a Team Steam member when I entered, but now that I'm in here, you guys don't think I'm a Team Steam personnel. Where is the logic in that? There is none. At least Big Papa's gonna get some, uh, some pretty good experience. I've been having difficulties using Big Papa just because I only know Summer Shock. You know, it, 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 needs, it needs more moves. Sandile? I don't remember what that Pokemon is, to be honest. But since this is called Sandile, I'm pretty sure it's a ground Pokemon. Oh, yeah, the little alligator. Okay. Gotcha. Good thing I switched because. At first I wasn't going to, I didn't read it, like, I was just like, oh, yeah, whatever, whatever Pokemon, but then I was like, wait, sand, sand, ah, uh, yeah, probably gonna switch out, so, Crocodile hitting level 22, baby, let's go, you're no match for me, slapping you around, whatnot, what if I could go around them, oh, I don't have my uniform on anymore, that's why, okay, let's go ahead and fight this guy, <coughs> You're in the wrong place at the wrong time, kid. No, you were at the wrong place at the wrong time, my friend. And with that gold bat, you're definitely at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm about to smack you up. Smack your willy around. No homo. Ooh, that, that only did that much? Hmm. Oh, withdrew gold bat. Interesting. Aw, oh, what, <laughs> what a poop nose. It played me like a sucker. Let's just go back into Kronkanaw. With its water gun of destruction. Brrrr. I wanna catch a new Pokemon to be honest. I, we haven't caught we haven't obtained a new Pokemon since Miltank. Um, and we didn't even use Miltank, and we didn't get to use um those are a whole lot either, so I really, I really would like to obtain a new Pokemon suit. So it's gonna go with Golbat. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay in, stay back in, because um, I mean the Thunder Shock, even though it's super effective, it really didn't do that much. So we'll hit up with a Water Gun, see how much Water Gun does. It doesn't do too, too much. Let's try Bite. We'll see if uh, Bite does anything better. Bite does a little bit more. I could see Scratch doing like the most, to be honest. I don't know why. Ah, oh, mess. We just went to the Pokemon Center and now my crocodile is almost dead. That's sad. That's really sad. Oh, like it's, uh, it's seriously almost dead. Don't worry, Cro crocodile definitely came in for us. Look at all that XP it got. Let's go ahead and heal up our crocodile. I think I've got some potions in my bag. I hope. I got a super potion. I got. Okay, I can't use honey. Got a regular potion, I got a hyper potion. I got two max potions. Let's just go ahead and get a super potion. Damn, didn't even heal all the way, oh well. Alright. Yeah, yeah, let's just uh let's just keep fighting these grunts, man. These grunts stand no chance for Pro Bartlett. Or Growlithe? I've got a Growlithe. <laughs> I'll go grill if I can show you. <laughs> Alright, let's just hit it with the thunder shot. See, this is why Pikachu. or er, Damn. I'm about to switch out. This is why Pikachu needs more moves. Like, thunder shot ain't doing jack. It's stab, and it just ain't doing jack. I might teach it focus punch, not gonna lie. I think I would teach it focus punch. If I can learn it, I'm gonna teach it. Dude, if this doesn't be back out to. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Some. 
<laughs> if it keeps howling, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, okay. The swift water gun should do the trick, though. Please don't kill it. What? I, f I feel dishonored. I feel, um, uh, disrespected that my Kunkanaw's water gun did not kill the little Growlithe. Oh well. A sand dial. Easy money. Easy money, put it in my pocket. This one's got Intimidate though. Hit me with that mud slap. Straight, please don't kill it. Still no okay. There we go, that's what's up. Crocodile is gonna be a beautiful level 23 crocodile. We're getting, we're getting there, we're making plays. I kinda wanna switch out my Pichu, but at the same time I don't. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah, these allergies, man, I'll tell you. Oh, I didn't know my. Oh, gosh! I didn't know he was. Only <laughs> I didn't know he only had eight. Uh, eight health. Um, I guess we just. We really gotta train our Ivysaur. Oh God! It's got shadow attack. How annoying. Constrict. That's terrible. What the constrict is gonna kill me. Well, should, or should we get like a crit or something? Uh, oh, with Drew? Oh, interesting. Dude, he played me again! He played me again! Team Steam's pretty good. But, at least I can now switch out. So, it kind of worked in my favor. Could He, he could have killed it. He could have killed my Pichu, but... Torment. I don't actually know what Torment does. I've never seen that move. I probably have, I just... What? Flower, pal! I just don't recall. It can use the same move twice to do Torment. Oh. That's what Torment does. Okay. Well, you know, fine by me. Whatever. I will switch both. Mmm. Big Papa? And Flower Pal. Ooh, Flower Pal trying to learn Razor Leaf? Hell yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Tackle, bruh. I could get rid of Vine Whip, but... I like Vine Whip, I think it's a cool move. I think Razor Leaf's a cool move. I'm gonna hit it with the Razor Leaf. Just got this newly, newly Razor Leaf. Oh, look at that. Uh, didn't kill it though. I'm kinda upset. Uh, Ivy Zor, why are you fucking around? Uh, okay. I believe Pikachu will evolve in one more level, so that's. or Pichu. I keep saying Pikachu, but. Uh, Pichu, so that should be pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and heal our Pichu up. Don't necessarily need to. I'll just give it a potion. Pichu really isn't going to come in clutch for us, I don't think. But we'll just go in here. Look at all these grunts. Oh, I think there's only two grunts left. I can't tell who that is up ahead. But, uh... Yeah. The team Steam's getting smacked around. They they didn't know that I was the reigning champion of Pokemon back in the day, like they didn't know. And I don't I don't blame them. I hope they don't try to pursue me again. Let's see, I guess we'll go out to Morala. Oh, okay, sweet. 
Yeah, they didn't know. They didn't know I was a reigning champion. It's alright, it's alright though. It's alright, like, I'm going easy on them right now. Like, they don't know. They don't know. If I had my Kangaskhan, they'd... Nah, I'm just playing. I don't use Kangaskhan. I think Kangaskhan is freaking OP and competitive. It's, it's... I mean, it's banned and Smogon, so I don't use it, period, because it's just... I play Smogon rules. I feel like it's the most fair. So I, I, like, OP stuff... Here's my thing on OP. OP stuff's fun for a while. Like, is it, like, not, well, not a while, but it's fun for a minute, you know. Um, you know, you can play with OP stuff for, like, a month, and then after a month, it's like, okay, seriously, we need to patch it, because it makes everything stale. You know, if you're using the same Pokemon over and over and over again, not only is it boring for the player, it's also boring just for the, the the competitive scene because you can't you aren't able to switch to other different Pokemon because you feel like you have to use the overpowered Pokemon because everybody else is using the overpowered Pokemon. So um, that was my little rant on overpoweredness. I, I like overpowered; like it's fun. You know, when I, when something first is over, like when people first discover something being overpowered. Uh, now I know this Pokemon's at water ground, so let me switch back up to well actually no we'll go to Flower Pal. But um you know when somebody discovers something that's OP and like the community hasn't uh, realized it yet, then it's fun because you're like beating up noobs and stuff and it's like easy peasy, you know. But then once everybody realizes it, it's not fun. And that's how it is in any game, like I have more of uh, experience playing with OP stuff in Call of Duty than I do in Pokemon. Because generally, I, I, in competitive, I haven't been playing competitive long, so, um, you know, there hasn't been, like, a exploit, like, oh, wow, this Pokemon's really overpowered, you know. Like, I literally started playing competitive, um, a little bit after X and Y. So, you know, when a new Pokemon, like, when a new 150 Pokemon get released, then, um, you know, I might can exploit something uh, before the rest of the community, but <coughs> overpower stuff is fun for a, a bit, and then you gotta nerf it, you know. Except for Pro Barley, you can't nerf the Pro. It, it, it's unnerfable. Man, we're just mowing down these grunts. Look at Flower Pal, 23, baby. Let's go. We're mowing them down. We're mowing them. And we got. Two, there's two different doorways we can go. We've got two more grunts. Let's look at our Pokemon. Um, let's just take a quick look. Let's see how. Okay, so it's actually almost level 25. So we will keep. Okay, we'll keep Big Pop out here, and we'll just keep fighting these grunts. I actually might want to go into that room. What if that room is just an empty room with a Pokeball in it? So, I might... I need to do that. This guy's got three Pokemon. Ooh. I'm going to fast forward this match because... He's got three Pokemon. Alright, so we got one more grunt up ahead. Our Pokemon are looking pretty weak. So yeah, our Pokemon are looking pretty weak. Let's just uh let's just go ahead and fight this grunt. Oh. This dude doesn't have anything to say. Alright, I'm gonna go hit my Pokemon real quick and I will catch you guys in a minute. Alright, we are back guys, so I'm gonna go into this door right quick, let's see what's in it. And like I was, like I just said there was a freaking Pokeball. <gasps> Want to take the z what? Want to take the z oh, interesting, yeah I wanna take it. That's a free space, oh my gosh, okay. I will be back momentarily, cause 
that Pokemon becomes a Zoro, which is kind of cool. So I will be back one second. All right, guys, we are back. So I really wish I would have done those like now because they're just giving away free Pokemon all the time. Like all the time. Just straight up giving me Pokemon. It's level five. Interesting. Let's check it out. So it's got Intimidate. Lowers the first attack. I'm pretty sure this becomes a Zoro, doesn't it? A scratch Leer and Pursuit. Let's go ahead and just straight up give it the XP share because, I mean, you know, gotta catch our Pokemon up to speed. So let's go ahead and give it the XP share. Um, and then I believe we will be fighting the leaders now, the team's team leaders. They got Pokeballs over there. Sheila. You again? You idiot! How do you keep managing to screw up our plans? You won't stop us this time because Marina and Terra, the two leaders of Team Steam, are here, and they're strong enough to beat any trainer with ease. But I'll destroy you myself. Bring it on, biatch! You wanna throw hands? We'll throw hands, dog. She's got three Pokemon. Ooh, a Haunter? Okay. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, our lovely Pichu may evolve. Uh oh, put a curse on Big Papa. I, I forgot what curse does. It does something scary. Oh, just okay. So it's like okay, it's like poison, basically. I was thinking it was like Destiny Bond. I think that's the move. Or if you kill it while you're under curse, you die too. It might be that. I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, we're taking damage from it, but... You know, it might... It, Pichu might die. So we're at grid level 6. Level 7. Aw. Driftblum? Yeah, I'll switch. Um, not really sure what's really super effective against Driftblum. Let's go to Growlithe. Damn, level 26 though. <coughs> <coughs> Did a good chunk, but I'm not sure if Ember will do more. How much is Gus doing? I don't want to like... Oh, I have to stay in. So, cause it's got shadow tags, it doesn't even matter. Dude, she's gonna end up fucking... I forgot the move that like... Spit up! I think that's what it's called. She's gonna end up spitting up. Sweet. Gruff was hanging on by a thread. Gruff didn't even get that much XP! That's baloney. Per ugly? What's, uh. Who do you want to switch into? I don't think Grass moves do a whole lot to her, but we'll, we'll see. Twenty-five. Okay. Go ahead and throw the poison powder on her. I'll just go ahead and say what how much Razor Leaf does. And then we can debate if we want to Leech Seed slash Poison Powder. Um, I'll just go ahead and buy Web. Now I'm on Poison Powder now. Oh no, it missed! I was going Poison Powder because of the Hypnosis. Because I knew eventually she was going to land the Hypnosis. What if she has Dream Eater? I don't know if Part Ugly can learn that. I assume any Pokemon that can learn Hypnosis can learn Dream Eater too. But, uh. Who am I to know? I am very Pokemon ignorant. Uh, we're gonna speed this tiny little process up, so I'll see you momentarily. Okay, I changed my mind. I will not see you materially because it took uh, took less time than I thought. 
So not bad. Zora's level nine. Zora learned headbutt. Ooh, learned headbutt. Hmm, intriguing. Let's see if our Pichu evolves. Pichu does not evolve. Um, well, it looks like you're getting stronger every day because you managed to beat me again. But you got her. You got here too late. Marina has taken the blue orb, and Terra has taken the red orb. Sheila, quit playing with him. Let's go. Terra and I have taken the two orbs. Now we just have to go to Seanport, C Seanport, Seanport C to finally achieve our goals. Let's go, Team Steam. So those are orbs. Hello, friend. Thanks for helping us. I'm Esmeralda. Esmeralda. The gym leader of Esmeralda City. This is Professor Rowan. He's from Sinnoh, but he's in Zahara studying the Pokemon of this region as well as some ancient legends. Dude, he's gonna give us another fucking starter. He's gonna give us another starter. Thanks for your help. Esmeral Esmeralda and I were captured by these Team Steam members while we were researching the Blue and Red Wars. Team Steam stole them because they have great and terrible power. Our research into the orbs has been stopped. I'll return to my gym. I'll continue the research. Come on, Professor. Come challenge me at the gym, Pro Bartlett. Dude, he's gonna give us a he's gonna give us a Pokemon. Straight up. Let's still talk to him. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Dude, there's Pokeballs over here. There's Pokeballs over here. Give me a Pokemon. To be fair, I actually don't want any more starters. Dude, he just disappeared. The new evidence. The Celebi has healing prop. Why are you talking about Celebi, bruh? Something a little fishy about Celebi. If you're gonna talk about Celebi, he trains fire Pokemon. Alright. He works in the lab. Whatever. Let's go talk to some trainers now. You know, everybody's, you know, out and about again. The gym leader uses grass Pokemon. Oh, they're all waiting for me. Do you have six Pokemon in your party? Yes. Come back when you have a free space. I have a gift for you. Dude, more Pokemon. More freaking Pokemon. Ash. Thanks, Pro Bartlett. You helped a lot. Now I'll go after Team Steam in Seaport City. Esmeralda told me they came to the city to further their plans by getting the red and blue orbs. I'll do my best to defeat them and be waiting for you there, Pro Bartlett. I'm off in search of new adventures, but I'll look out for you too, Pro Bartlett. Well, thank you guys very much. What's up with this crowd? Oh, that's a gem. I have to keep my fighting Pokemon very strong and well trained. Okay. So, we got more Pokemon to get. So, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know why. Let me, let me see something right quick. I don't know why our Pichu did not evolve. Because. In other games, I'm just gonna go ahead and deposit the Pichu for right now. In other games, like I do realize that it doesn't evolve by leveling up, it evolves by like increasing its friendship or whatever. But usually in playthroughs and ROM hacks, like ROM hacks, they disregard that and they just put like a level on it. Um, okay, so this guy has a Pokemon for us. Oh no. I do not. What did he give us? Ooh, an Eevee egg! This Eevee egg will be very useful when it hatches. An Eevee will be helpful in your journey across the Zahari region. That it will. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. So, let's, let's, we have to, we have to sort our Pokemon out. Let's, uh, let's go sort our Pokemon. So, uh, someone's PC, let's see, let's go ahead and deposit. We're gonna deposit the egg. And we are going to withdraw our Pichu. Because I don't know what level our Pichu... Let's see. Because I don't know when Pichu evolves, I'm going to take the Lucky Egg from it. And then I'm going to deposit the Pichu. I'm going to deposit it for now until I find out what level it will evolve. And for now, I'm keeping the egg. So, we only have four Pokemon that are useful at this moment. 
That's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, they're strong Pokemon, they're all strong. Pichu was the weak link of the team, even though he was level 25. Alright, so... We're just gonna keep talking to trainers. We're gonna go and solve these houses, see if they got any other goodies for us. Let's see. He likes to. Dad likes to travel the mountains. You gotta be careful with some trainers. Sometimes they're stronger than you think. No kidding. I have learned that the hard way, unfortunately. Um, let's just go in here. I'll give you a valuable item to make your Pokemon stronger. Obtain the Lucky Punch. What does Lucky Punch do? I've never heard of that item. Lucky Punch. A hold item that raises chances critical. Okay, I don't have a chance. Doors locked? Interesting. What about you? Got anything to give me? I'm selfish, I know. But, that's just how I am. Hey, my Pikachu isn't feeling well. I'm on the way to the Pokemon Center to cure it. Everybody likes grass Pokemon. What about you, old man? You got something for- Nope, nope. You're passed out. You are drunk. Alright. Good to know. Bug Pokemon and Grass Pokemon live happily together. This isn't a romance comedy. Um, Alright, yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's look at our Pokemon. We got Flower Pal, we got Growlithe. Let's go ahead and give... Growlithe's holding the Omulet coin. Let's... I wonder... I'm gonna take the Quick Claw from Flower Pal, and I'm gonna give it the Lucky Egg. And then Kronkanaw, I will give Quick Claw. I usually don't use items. Like, I hardly, I don't like ever, period. Like, in Pokemon, I do not use them. But, I'm making an exception this time. Don't really wanna fight. Oh, I have to, okay. I have to fight the trainer, so let's just go ahead and fight, and I'm gonna fast forward it, and I will see you momentarily. So even though they talked about grass Pokemon the whole time, I still forgot that this gym is grass. Type. Yeah. <coughs> that straight up happened. So, alright, we got. We fought him. Now we gotta fight this dude, which is a chick probably. It's not actually a dude. I don't know why I called him a dude. Oh, it is a dude. Alright, I will see you shortly. Alright, so, I hope the gym leader is... Oh, we have to do a challenge? Oh, that's really weird. I'm not, uh, well, it looked pretty easy. Oh no, we got one more person to fight? Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon, I will be right back. Alright, we're back guys, let's, uh, first of all, I keep forgetting to switch out my Ivysaur. So let's uh, let's keep fighting these people. These trainers. Keep beating them up.
Okay, please let that be the last trainer. No, there's one more trainer up there. No. Alright, let's fight this guy too. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty strong, I know. Okay, finally, finally. Oh wow, she has a fucking. Oh god. Just a big ass turtle. I forgot his, uh. Torterra? That's what his name was. I don't feel like going back to the Pokemon Center, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and revive Combustion. I'm gonna give a max potion to Growlithe. And to Combustion. No, 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 no. I'll give. Oh shit, I don't get. It. Okay. Yep, give one to Combustion, and let's just go ahead and fight the trainer, let's, or gym leader, let's go ahead and duke it out. <laughs> Greetings, Pro Barley, welcome to Esmeralda City Gym, now I'll show you the power of Grass Pokemon in battle. Okay, alright, show me the power of Grass Pokemon, as I set them on the fire with Ember. Dude, her, oh shit, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to take the XP share off of, um, my... Dark Pokemon. I forgot his name. That's actually very frustrating because I wanted the full XP um, for my Pokemon because we're now a little bit under leveled. We were equal, now we're a little bit under leveled. So, I wanted the full XP to give to Growlithe and whoever fights. So, it's a little. Eh. At the same time, though, um, God damn, level 27. But um, at the same time, dude, she's gonna set up on me. At the same time, like, we're catching her up to speed, so it's not like a total loss, I guess. She'll probably end up being around the same level. I mean, she's already level 16, and we got her at level 5, so. You know, what, uh, what can you say about that, you know? Dude, she's gonna like fucking sell. She's gonna rage relief, and that's gonna Oko me. Or she's just gonna keep using curse. I don't know. No, she's gonna like bind with me and just Oko me. Straight up, or tackle and just Oko me. <laughs> oh god, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit. Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Yes! Get a fucking crit. Now we'll never know if she was going to use tackle on me or not. I wonder what her. If, I wonder what her like. That Torterra was her, like big Pokemon. So I wonder who else she's gonna have. Jumpluff isn't scary. Okay, it's a little scary when you got Leech Seed and uh, I'm paralyzed and you know all that good stuff. But well, it's not scary. It's annoying. Annoying as all get out. Yes, keep using your sleep powder. Mwahaha. You don't know I can't have two paralyzed or er, two status conditions on me. Mwahaha. Dude, I bet she's I bet she's gonna hyper potion. Yep. See this is annoying. Like this Pokemon is annoying. It's not it's not I'm just gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch up the combustion and just straight up give her the one two buckle my shoe. Because I can't keep playing this game. This is a dangerous game we're playing, and, and my, my mama always told me not to play in the street. Okay, this is that's one of the reasons I switched out, so... Oh my lord, okay, we're gonna pack. I think pack will do more than Ember. This is why, this is why I switched out! This is exactly why I switched out! I don't think Peck does a lot more, actually. This is exactly why I switched out! No, Stun Spore, Sleep Powder, 
leech seed, and that's it. And it's got a fourth move, but I don't think she'll do it. Or maybe it's like leech seed, or leech life, no. Mega Drain, maybe? Absorb? If I just don't get paralyzed hacks, we'll be alright. That's the problem. Not getting paralyzed hacks. I'm already leaf seated. Like, how can you, like. Whatever. And this is, this is super annoying because you got paralyzed hacks. Plus the leaf seed. It's just, it's just, like, I can never, I'll never be able to kill it. It's gotta be effing me. And, like, she just keeps doing these moves. So even if I switch out... Oh, my effing lord. Alright, we're gonna speed this up. Because this is not worth watching. That was the most annoying Pokemon battle I think I've ever experienced in my entire life. Period. You can use a move called Lava Surf to pass through difficult areas? What the hell is Lava Surf? That move is non-existent. Contains Giga Drain. Oh my gosh, okay, I just, I just, I just wanna leave. I, I just, I, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done playing, I just, I just wanna go home. I'm done playing Pokemon. I don't wanna be a Pokemon trainer anymore. That was the most annoying thing ever. I'm gonna stop the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and find this video any sort of entertainment value whatsoever. It helps the channel grow when you do give this video a like, or when you give any video a like, period. But, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description below. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Oh my god. Can we say a prayer? Let's, let's all say a prayer. That we never have to fight another battle like that. That was the most annoying thing ever. Anyway guys, I'm Pro Bartlett. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.